Hi guys, it's Ryan here. Something I noticed interesting was the firmware updates for Nikon 3.2. And when I look at the latest updates, I see that they added CF Express support. So this is only for the Sony cards so far. They said they're going to release more for the other manufacturers over time as they come out. Um, I checked on B&H and their CF Express cards aren't even out. The card readers are basically not even out, but it's nice that we have this firmware update so we can use it right when it comes out. There's basically no reason why you wouldn't buy a CF Express card because compared to XQD, it's like the same exact price, except they're faster, at least theoretically, that's what they say. Until we actually run them ourselves, we won't really see if they're that much faster, but just like raw spec wise, they're the same price and they're faster by like two to three times. So you might as well buy a CF Express. Sometimes it's even four times faster. For ProRes RAW update, it's $200 plus shipping. So depending on where you have to ship to, it's going to be a pretty penny. And you don't know how long it'll take for them to update your camera, for it to ship there and come back. And you don't even know what's going to happen to your camera while it gets shipped. So that kind of sucks. So good luck with that, guys. And then IAF improvements and control ring update which is kind of a surprise because this is 2.1 and if you read the patch notes for 2.1 they didn't mention anything about IAF like if I read if I go into it and you read obviously there's a CF Express for only Sony right for this but if you read down here there's nothing that says IAF improvements I originally read it and I was like there's no improvements to autofocus but for some reason, in the other page, they mentioned that they improved autofocus. Which leads me to believe they either did that on accident, right here, mistitled, or they actually did IF improvements, but just didn't put it in the notes. But either way, it's safe to at least update your firmware to 2.1 or 2.2 if you haven't already. And yeah, that's about all I want to talk about. Um, if you guys enjoyed the content, uh, please like and follow me down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.